cause analysis introduction root cause analysis is an organized study of identifying the real cause of a problem and the actions required to eliminate it with a permanent fix instead of continuing to deal with the symptoms on an unending way patient diagnosis is found to be delayed by the doctor let's see how the root cause of the problem is identified and solution is proposed why was the patient's diagnosis of carcinoma esophagus delayed the excision biopsy report was not seen by the surgeon why did that happen the report was filled in the patient's notes without being seen by the surgeon why was not it shown to the surgeon junior doctors were busy with other tasks and receptionist filled it so here the root cause is that the other tasks are seen as more important than filing from now on a copy of all biopsy reports are to be sent to the consultant or surgeon responsible for the patient and no reports will be filed unless they have been signed by a doctor root cause analysis is a popular and often used technique that helps people answer the question of why the problem occurred in the first place about root cause analysis in healthcare system problem solving incident investigation and root cause analysis are all fundamentally connected by three basic questions what's the problem why did it happen what will be done to prevent it understanding why is the key to knowing what to do the core of sound decision making root cause analysis rca introduction the process of root cause analysis business analyst involves data collection cause charting root cause identification and recommendation generation and implementation root cause analysis is often an iterative process and is a reactive method of problem detection and solving when combined with other proactive improvement tools such as failure mode and effects analysis or risk analysis quality professionals are more likely to forecast the possibility of a problem before it can occur some root cause analysis approaches are geared more towards identifying true root causes than others some are more general problem solving techniques while others simply offer support for the core activity of root cause analysis the root cause is the evil at the bottom that sets in motion the entire cause and effect chain causing the problem or problems root cause analysis focuses on systems and processes not individual performance root cause analysis examines extensively for underlying contributing factors and root causes root cause analysis identifies changes that could be made to improve systems and processes to prevent recurrence of similar events root cause analysis finds safer more efficient ways to deliver patient care root cause analysis is typically used as our active method of identifying event or events causes revealing problems and solving them analysis is done after an event has occurred insights in rca may make it useful as a proactive method in that event root cause analysis can be used to forecast or predict probable events even before they occur while one follows the other root cause analysis is a completely separate process to incident management wrong drug has been administered to a patient in the hospital which has affected his health seriously why was the patient given wrong medication ma'am the nurse on night duty misread the drug name she got confused and she is responsible for this why was she confused ma'am we store the drugs alphabetically for easy access the administered drug had a name similar to the prescribed drug these two drugs were similar names were stored side by side so here the root cause is defect in the system that is improper storage of drugs as per the symptom approach 
error is carelessness on part of nurse and we need to motivate her. But as per the newer root cause approach, we must correct the defect in system and adopt a better and error-free method for drug storage. RCA in healthcare Root cause analysis RCA has been applied to the healthcare industry and has been found to be a highly effective tool to improve patient care and decrease healthcare costs from adverse events. For example, a study of 10 hospitals in the Delhi, India showed that patients are more comfortable in Hindi than English speaking and they suffer from physical harm when errors occur. Purpose of RCA The purpose of an RCA is to develop recommendations and actions for the organization to reduce the risk of sentinel events occurring in the future. RCA allows learning from past problems, failures, and accidents. Aiming performance improvement measures at root causes is more effective than merely treating the symptoms of a problem. There may be more than one root cause for an event or a problem. To be effective, the analysis must establish all known casual relationships between the root causes and the defined problem. Let's watch the e-lecture, which will give you more information about the purpose of RCA. Floor manager and ward boy are discussing with each other near operation theatre. Why was the patient brought late to the operation theatre? We had to wait for long for the trolley. Why so? A replacement trolley had to be found. Okay, but you should have arranged it before. The original trolley's safety rail was born and had eventually broken. But why all these trolleys are not in good condition? It had not been regularly checked for wear. Okay, this is a serious issue. I feel the problem is that there is no equipment maintenance schedule. Set up a proper maintenance schedule to ensure that patients should never again to be late due to faulty equipment. If you simply repair the trolley or do one off safety rail check, the problem may be happen again in the future. By repeatedly asking the question why, one can peel away the layers of symptoms which can lead to find out the root cause of a problem. One may ask the question less or more than five times before they find the actual issue related to a problem. Characteristics of RCA RCA must be acceptable, interdisciplinary review, focus on systems and processes, not individuals, Identify changes in system and process, redesign to improve performance and reduce the risk of event, and impartial review. RCA must be thorough. Understand human and human factors. Identify potential problems. Analyze through series of why questions. Identify risk. Documentation. RCA must be credible. Participation of those closely involved in system and processes. Applied consistently as per policies or procedures. Consider relevant literature. Let's understand the characteristics of RCA with the help of an example. Patient develop allergic reaction following intravenous administration of a drug to which he was known to be allergic. We should carry out RCA to prevent recurrence of such adverse incident in future. Remember, RCA should be acceptable, thorough and credible. Okay ma'am, what makes RCA acceptable? Entire event should be analyzed, dig deeper asking why, at each level till the root causes are identified. This analysis should then be used to identify system and process factors which through redesign can reduce such recurrences. What makes RCA thorough and credible? RCA should focus on human and other factors associated with event. A detailed inquiry should be made on each key area specific to the event. Contributing factors should also be analyzed. The participation should be multidisciplinary and should also include frontline staff. It should also include consideration of relevant literature. It is difficult for a team of healthcare professionals to conduct root cause analysis without the support of their organization, including personnel, time and support from managers, clinicians, and the chief executive. Healthcare providers require training in this method. 
many organizations have introduced training programs to help providers develop skills in conducting root cause analysis. RCA assumptions Usually multiple potential root causes Understand interaction among potential root causes Establish all known causal relationships between root causes and problem Assumptions, causes and conclusions backed up by data and evidence Solutions must be developed and analyzed who is responsible for RCA? RCA investigations are conducted by multidisciplinary teams who seek to determine the root causes of the incident and provide recommendations about how to avoid its recurrence. Individuals in each health service who have been trained in the RCA methodology may assist with the investigation. Let's understand with an example that who all are responsible for RCA. Who is responsible for RCA? Root cause analysis is conducted by a team specially selected to investigate an individual specific adverse event. The team is disbanded after the report has been completed and approved. The only staff member common to any given team is the patient safety officer. Along with team members with management expertise, staff members with direct patient contact must also be represented in the team. Depending on the specific event and with consideration for local working conditions, administration and the patient safety officer must together decide whether or not frontline staff members, those most closely involved in the event, will be included in the team. Often, the participation of frontline staff members on the team can be beneficial to the analysis because they are the personnel who can offer the most insight into what actually occurred and can contribute to understanding why the event occurred. However, it is important to separate the needs of staff members to emotionally process an event from the root cause analysis itself, the primary purpose of which is to prevent future occurrences of a similar adverse event. An investigation team should consist of a sufficient number of members, generally from 4 to 10 participants.